one of the keys to being more joyfully productive throughout your workday is a concept that I call calm, joyful focus. And the idea here, there's a couple of parts of the idea. One part is to pay attention to your body posture as you work. A lot of us, when we're working, especially on a challenging project, we don't even realize it, but our face is tense like this. It just doesn't look pleasant, and it's not, uh, it, it doesn't create a positive internal state when your face is like this. So notice the next time you work on a challenging project, notice your face. Is it, is it, you know, is it like this? Or is it, you can bring an alternative way to it, which is a calm, joyful focus like this. No matter what you're working on, no matter how hard or challenging the project is, your face doesn't have to be that way. And in fact, if you bring an internal state that you do want, which is a calm, joyful focus, I imagine when you're working, if you want that internal state, make your external state that way as well. And besides the facial expression, notice your breathing. Typically when we're working, our breathing is very shallow. And so when you do notice it next time, just take a deep breath. And again, bring, your, bring that gentle smile to your face again, calmly, joyfully. And also notice your shoulders. Is it tense or is it relaxed? And is your neck soft, okay, rather than tense? Okay, so notice these things. The next time you work, remember my face and remember the versus the breathe, deep breathing whenever you do happen to notice it. Now, I want to give you an example in uh, martial arts. I'm going to show you a video right now that kind of illustrates what I'm talking about. Whereas typically when we're, well, let me just kind of show it to you on the screen and then you can, uh, and then I'll, I'll debrief with you for a moment here. Here we go. Pushing back with force just turns into a contest of strength. With an expert, all the energy flows in the direction that will knock the opponent over right at the moment of impact. Okay, let's watch that one more time. We're right back with force. See what happens? Pushing back with force just turns into a contest of strength. With an expert, all the energy flows in the direction that will knock the opponent over right at the moment of impact. And I want you to also notice how calm the Aikido master, martial arts master is when he's doing that. He's not going, you know, like, oh, beat, beat. it's not a force to force, but it's a genuine inner power by dissolving the force or by turning it or by surprising it with a totally different take. It's not an anger and a hatred and a, you know, and so when we're working on a project and it's challenging to us, we find it difficult, frustrating, uh, confusing or whatever, we are, our natural typical state is to meet it with anger or with frustration, right? With force, with force, so like that. But instead, if you bring a calm, joyful focus to it, you Aikido the situation, you completely change the, the, the state of the situation such that, oh, there is a totally different reality. It's almost like you step into a different universal timeline. You step into a different timeline in your life, your different universe, where you literally are changing the situation so that you're bringing your calm, joyful focus to it instead of an anger. And here's the, here's the, here's the, um, the other really important point is that it doesn't matter what the result is. Now, let me actually show you one more thing before I, before I go there. There's a, a, another quick video I want to show you um, as an example. Whoops, let me just do this one more time here. Okay. Notice his facial expression. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, let me see. notice his facial expression when when he when he does this, and I'm going to show you one more time here. Okay, all right. Notice his facial expression here. Okay. 
Again, his facial expression is one of calm, joyful focus, right? Just focusing on the process itself and just doing the process, knowing that if you focus on the process, the results will take care of themselves. And so that's the other, the other piece that I want to give you is when you are so focused on the results of whatever project, that, the reason why we tense up and, and have this face and, and therefore we're not sustainable in our work, we don't, if we don't bring a calm, joyful focus to our work, it's hard to sustain the work and the practice which makes us truly excellent in the long term and therefore creates great results, right? And so focus just on the process. Remember the facial expressions of these martial artists. They're not, you know, force with force, but they're just very calmly doing the thing. And even you can bring a smile to your face and breathe deeply and focus on the process itself. So like if you're working for an hour on a project, don't say, well, by the end of the hour, I better have, um, you know, gotten someone to say yes, or I better have, you know, uh, written uh, 10 pages or whatever. Just focus on writing, right? If you're writing, just focus on the writing. Just focus on calm, joyful writing. Whatever happens at the end of the hour is just fine. Just focus on the action itself. And one more quick story I'll tell you is in the um, Olympic archery uh, pro, you know, games, uh, the U.S. team was so focused on the results of hitting hitting the bullseye. They were just focused on the goal so much, just looking at the target. Whereas the Japanese team, they had grown up in an environment and been trained to focus on the process itself. And so when they were doing archery, they were just focused on drawing the bow, releasing it, focusing on the process of doing that, and almost not caring where the arrow went. Okay, they didn't have to like, oh, I gotta hit the arrow, I gotta hit the bullseye, I gotta hit the target, I gotta hit the goal. Just focus on the process itself and let the goal take care of itself magically. Because if you focus and keep tweaking the process so that the process is good, the result will take care of itself. Now, of course, you use the result as a um, way to help you design what a good process is. But then once you design a, a good process, you just keep focusing on the process itself with a calm, joyful focus Remember your body postures and a loose, a loose you know, upper body at the very least, taking a deep breath whenever you think of it. So try that the next time you work, especially on a challenging project. Focus on the result itself. No matter what happens at the end of the half hour or hour, perfectly fine. Just focus on the doing the work with a calm, joyful focus and a body posture that will support your health.